guys, welcome back to episode 6 of Building Iconic Planes in Kerbal Space Program. And today we're going to be building the um, Grumman F6F Hellcat, uh, which was a carrier based fight aircraft during World War II and prim primarily, primarily used by the United States Navy, otherwise known as the USN. Um, first introduced in 1943 and retired in 1960. In the Euro, I don't even know what the hell that place is. Some navy, I guess. And was only produced for a total of three years. Total production was 12,275 units with a cost of $35,000 each, which would probably be some ridiculous amount these days. A really ridiculous amount. Uh, so, anyway, uh, let's get into this. Uh, so, we're going to be using this cockpit because I like this cockpit. Uh, and especially for this build, um, it sort of fits it. So, yeah. So, I need that. Nope. And we're also going to need to go back here to this area and add on some fuel stuff, uh, which is here. Don't need rocket fuel. Stop asking me to use rocket fuel. If you ever want to use rocket fuel? I'll give you one. So, uh, we're going to be voting this, episode 6. Um, we can. And that sort of needs to go the other way. Uh, even though it is a bit of a... No, no, no. No, sorry, my bad. It's sort of... I, I need... There needs to be one made that sort of... That would be nice. I wish I knew how to mod stuff. That'd be cool. But... That'll do for now. It'll do. It'll do. Um, and then we get the engine mount up the front. Um, so, the really, really, this should be a relatively simple uh, plane to build. Uh, at least I believe so. And if it doesn't, well... Okay, I thought that was like a jet engine or something on the back of that, and I was like, what the hell's going on? But, regardless, um... Need wings. Wings are awesome. So, yeah. I just thought I should mention that, because... Yeah. I'm, I'm a bit... A bit iffy today, you know? You know? They would be pretty cool having those, they wouldn't. But yeah, we can't exactly chuck this on the side of it; it would look retarded. Which is why procedural wings always come in handy. Um, because if I did not have these, um, it would s nope, wrong way. It would suck. I believe they are the right. Nope, they need to come down. Nope. This needs to come down one. Perfect. Alright, so that's like that. Um, if you haven't used procedural wings, well, this is essentially what you can do. You can do this, uh, which does that. And I just need to look at some design thingies, um, look at some better images that may or may not give me a better representation of how to build this plane, if you know what I mean. Um, so it comes out a bit more, I guess you could say. It sort of has a bit of a dent in it. When I say dent, I mean it's sort of got a bit of a, it's got a bit of an edge. It's sort of, no, if I do this, bring you back in. I only make you just a short straight one, probably about to there. Yep. And then I, it sort of has, from what I can tell, it has like a little, you know, should. suits it, I think. And what I actually do need on this plane, especially, is I'm going to need some air intake, I believe. Um, unless that... Does that count? No, it doesn't count as an air intake. What am I talking about? Um, uh, these are humongous. I mean, look at them. I can't have these on there. I would like to. If there was a small version of those, I'd probably actually have those. But the actually smallest intake we have, I believe, is these. They're not going to be helpful with ways. So I'm just going to sort of chuck these on the side here and they're going to be my air intakes even though it doesn't really have those but it's the best I can do um, I mean, it's the best you can do well you just have to work with what you got don't you? Um, so as usual we have these and then we also have um, the 
Wait, actually, you've got to check our center of lift and all that currently. Um, so, as always, uh, we're going to need our. What you call it? I can't remember what the hell you call those things. Can't have that thing on the back. Can't have this thing on the back going on. So go back inside to where we found you. Um. I think it would just be best to use these actually, even though that's not exactly the proper one that they would have used. Um, I'm going to find something that maybe might correspond to a better look as my nose sort of dies on me um, very slowly. And yeah, my nose is sort of a bit shitty. So, sorry if I don't sound the best guys, but you know, I try my best. enough. Oh, nope, don't want that. Uh, that. Um, actually, I think that looks pretty well done, from what I can tell. I like that. I like it a lot, actually. Um, so now, of course, what we do need, and what we are missing, Izzy, my nose is like dying, um, and I'm about. To, I think I'm about to sneeze. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure, but you know, I'll, I'll try not to. So that's still sort of sitting back there, uh, probably because the length of the aircraft isn't actually that big. Um, so maybe if I no, 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 that'll have to do. But that's better than anything. Well, nothing at all actually. Um, and then we have the wheels gonna have to incorporate as soon as I remember which way to rotate shit. The wheels were probably about here realistically. Um, um, are they straight? Yeah they're straight. And then we've got the little back fighter wheel thingy, just that sits at the back, and it's like, hey, you doing? What's going on? How's life, you know? It's just like, you know what? I don't even care what I am. I'm just a small little wheel that helps you fly around. Um, so this is the Grumman F6F. Sorry, guys, just had to get my nose done a little, a little bit. Um, Hellcat. Hell cat. Uh, KSP edition. So if this thing flies on the first attempt, um, that'll be the first in a while, because everything else I had to modify, modify slightly. Um, so, do we even have a driver? Apparently not. Ah, but here we go. We don't even have a driver, but, you know. Here we go. Perfect. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, pull up, pull, oh shit! Um, that probably has to do with the, um, how the aircraft is balanced in terms of, what the, what the, what? That's not right, what the hell? Um, what? Why did the P-38 load up? That's a little weird. Right. Um, let's try that again. And not go super fast mode, because that obviously caused us to crash. But, yeah, here it is. Nonetheless, this is actually a decent aircraft. That doesn't actually want to activate. Because apparently we have no intake air on this, so... But we have intake air there, so that's interesting. As we take off... Oh, no, no, no. I'm actually going to have to control this myself, even though it's a bit unstable. Whoops. Uh, there we go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. There we go. Alright. Uh, we're going to just make a slight adjustment to this. Revert to space plane hangar. And I'm just going to add in a um, SAS, I believe, or something like a gyroscope. Um, 
auto launch. Oh, okay, that that's interesting. Um, air brake. No, I don't want those. I just want this. Yeah, just give me a guy's go. Chuck it there. Uh, that will be our thingy. As my nose just dies horribly over and over again. Um, so we have our guy's go for a bit of a better performance. What I'm going to do is just bring these forward just a little bit. Um, hang on. Move these out of the way. This should enable for a bit of better uh, understanding. Or not understanding, but, you know, I don't know what I'm talking about at all. Um, so where is... What am I looking for? Here we go. Just chuck those at the front there. And we're actually probably better to go now because we actually have a gyroscope, which will enable us to fly um, slightly better, I believe. Um, so let me add the... And again, this doesn't... Space doesn't want us... Oh, God. Ah, uh, right, let's... Uh, so, adding the gyroscope causes more issues, apparently, because it makes it go over... That might have been because I activated it while I was on the ground. And, yeah. But, overall, we know it flies. Um, decently. And essentially takes off by itself. What the hell? Alright, so... Don't activate that, because that causes... Um, hang on, I've got I seem to appear to get an email. Uh, which I'm going to quickly check. Which is from JB Hi-Fi. Something to do with my kitchen. You want to give me kitchen stuff. I don't run a kitchen. I run a YouTube ch What the? I don't know what's going on, but... This shouldn't be launching. Um, so... Gonna do that and land it. Hold. Radio then. That was pretty funny. Ah, uh, but yeah, uh, we're gonna revert to Spaceman Hangar just so I can get the actual aircraft out. Um, going to launch it, and yeah, that's. I'm at the end of this video. Um, I don't know what's going on because apparently this thing it it flies, but doesn't fly very well. Um, so yeah, and apparently there's no crew at all, so that's a little weird, um, so yeah, um, that's the end of the video guys, um, I hope you did enjoy it, even though I was a bit retarded, um, if you did enjoy it, uh, be sure to leave a like and a comment about what you'd like to see next, and, uh, that is me signing off, and I will either be Pixel Piracy or episode something like this, or something completely different that'll be uploaded next, and, uh, that is me signing off.